In the most recent budget, Chancellor Jamery Hunt has announced extra support for nuclear power. He wants to reclassify nuclear as environmentally sustainable so the industry can access some funds available to other forms of renewable energy. By the year 2050, the UK government wants nuclear power to provide 25% of the UK electricity. Within non-military reactors, uranium atoms are bombarded by much smaller neutron particles. This bombardment causes the atoms to break down and release a huge amount of energy as heat. The heat is used to boil water which produces steam, which then drives turbine engines and generates electricity. Like fossil fuels, nuclear fuels are non-renewable energy sources. However, unlike fossil fuels, nuclear power stations do not produce greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide or methane during their operation. However, in the building of a nuclear power station, it does create emissions through the manufacturing of the steel and other materials needed. But the emission footprint, which is the total emission generated across the lifespan of a plant, is still very low in comparison to other plants. The UK government is consulting on the proposal to reclassify nuclear power as environmentally sustainable. This announcement follows a similar move by the European Union in 2022. The International Atomic Energy Agency says that nuclear power plants are among the safest and most secure facilities in the world. This is because they are subject to stringent international safety standards. Saying this, there has been a number of high profile accidents which release a large amount of radioactive material into the environment. As many of us remember, the worst nuclear accident in history was caused by an explosion at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine in 1986. And more recently than this, an earthquake caused a tsunami which flooded the Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan in 2011, causing a partial meltdown of the reactor core. Looking past this, even under normal conditions, generating nuclear power produces hazardous radioactive waste which needs to be safely managed and stored for hundreds of years. Within the UK, there are currently six plants that can supply about 20% of the electricity demand, with 15.5% being generated that way in 2022. Most of these reactors are at the end of life, but the government wants to deliver up to eight new reactors overall, with one being approved each year until 2030. There is already a plant under construction in Hinkley, and in July 2022, the government gave the go-ahead for a Sizewell C nuclear power plant on the Suffolk coast. These plants together would be able to power 12 million homes within the UK. As well as these larger nuclear power stations, the government also wants to develop small modular reactors, SMRs for short. These reactors work in the same way as conventional nuclear reactors, but on a much smaller scale. The Chancellor announced a new competition for SMRs to be delivered through a body called Great British Nuclear. If any of the projects proposed demonstrate to be viable, the government would co-fund it. The overall cost of the power itself is comparable with other forms of energy, but nuclear power plants are extremely expensive to build. The Hinkley C plant is expected to cost 80% more than its original £33 billion budget. However, in the future, the government is hoping a new financial funding model could cut the cost of future nuclear projects, including the Sizewell C plant. In 2013, the government agreed to pay £92.50 per megawatt hour for the Hinkley Point's electricity, an amount which will rise with inflation. Although this is much lower than the current price of £161 per megawatt hour, critics argue it's still too much. In 2019, before the global energy crisis pushed prices up, electricity cost £50 per megawatt hour, so if the price returned to this level, £92.50 would be very expensive. Critics of nuclear power say the plants will take so long to come online, they'll be too late to help the UK meet its emission target or reduce the energy price for consumers. Hinkley Point C is two years behind schedule, partly due to the pandemic, and Sizewell C is expected to take nine years to construct. One of the benefits of SMRs is that they're much quicker to construct than larger plants.